Instead of going over the hills, engineers drill right through them. They're digging new road and subway tunnels to ease the traffic congestion. The geology of this earthquake city is a challenge for tunnel builders, like Ken Johnson. The rock has had a rough life. It's been sheared and, and mangled and bent, and so we have to have a design which is more conservative and anticipates the variety of different rock behavior that we would expect. And tunnels under San Francisco must also be able to cope with earthquakes. One of the things that's good for a tunnel is to have some level of flexibility so that when the ground moves around it, that a function of the tunnel is not compromised. Instead of building one long seamless tunnel, they build it in segments. A tunnel boring machine digs out the tunnel tube and lines it with concrete modules. They're coated in rubber so they can move against each other. This allows the whole tunnel tube to flex so it doesn't break when the ground around it moves. Ken's biggest project is the Central Subway, a 1.5 mile long metro line into the city center. The most difficult part is building a train station right here, under Chinatown. This is one of the most densely populated parts of the country, so we need to build the station with a minimum amount of disruption. The construction will certainly be challenging, but it creates a, a puzzle that we love to work to uh, try and solve. The team will use the tunnels as the starting point for their station. They'll fill one section with concrete. This will shore up the walls so the diggers can smash through them and carve out a huge station cavern. Then the crews will line the walls with steel mesh and spray quick-drying concrete over it. Finally, they'll install the platforms and tracks so the station is ready for business. The new Central Subway will be a big boost for San Francisco's transportation network. 16 trains an hour will shuttle tens of thousands of people in and out of downtown every day. And the flexible tunnels and stations should survive almost anything the earth throws at them. The safest place to be in an earthquake is in a tunnel, underground, uh, because the ground actually moves uh, much, much less than anything built up on top of it. Uh, I was underground in the 1989 earthquake. It felt like a big train came into the station, and uh, my friends who are on the 40th floor of some of the skyscrapers uh, were hanging on for dear life as their building moved back and forth four to five feet. By going underground, engineers in San Francisco defend its transportation network.